What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Team Summon Circus Live Duel. Down on the left side, we have Adventure Plunder Patrol, um, a very, very high represented rogue deck, I feel like. A lot of players are playing this deck. Um, at least locally, we have Alex as well as Brian here playing the deck. And then on the right side, it's us playing the Branded deck. Um, this was when we were playing Duality. We ended up getting, getting first at this tournament here. Um, Duality is an interesting card. This was on the sneak, or this was on the release of, uh, of the card. We were playing two of it, I believe, maybe three. Um, I don't really love the card anymore. I ended up cutting it from my deck, but it's super fun. Um, and we're going to be diving into the video here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It helps us a lot. We're going to be seeing them activate the Plunder spell. And then we'll discard a... Uh, the, I think that is Draco back there. Um, and then they're going to be able to normal summon out the Golden Hair. And they're going to be linking away for an All Mirage. This will allow the Golden Hair to activate. Um, here to summon back. And they're able to discard the nib there, summon it back here. Then they can link into the blue beard. Crazy card. Setting it and just passing on this. You know, we didn't activate any cards, so they can't able to uh they're not able to summon here. But we will draw for turn here, and then we're gonna be having either a light or a dark very soon. So being able to summon lists is very nice from the extra deck. If we do summon a light monster, and then the Mork is not that bad either. Um, so we have to be very careful. We're going to activate Lubellion, so already immediately let them going into uh, the list. But we're going to hit the Ash Blossom on the Bluebeard there. Absolutely just a brutal card. Turning off any interactions other than that set card that he has during his turn, which is very good for us here. We search for the Sora near where then we can normal summon the Albaz, activate the effect here, dumping a second or pitching a second Albaz here, being able to fusion summon immediately into Garang and all. Or not Grang at all, I should say. The, into the Mirror Jade here. Um, and then we're going to be activating the effect of Sorinir onto the Nibiru there. Tagging out into the Lubellion, able to activate the effects here. I wonder why we didn't do that first, is a question. So that on the summon we could have searched with the uh, Mirror Jade here. Um, we're going to be putting the Brandon Loss onto the field and dumping the Retribution to the Graveyard with that Sorinir. I wish Lubellion was an on summon effect, to be honest. That'd be absolutely insane. Um, then we're going to activate the Branded in Red, targeting the Albaz. And then we can fusion summon with Lubellion as well as the Albaz. Or another target in hand here. With a Quem and the Albaz here. Going to go for a Chimera. And then Lost as well as Chimera will activate here, drawing us two cards and popping one. Here we, we we pop we pop one draw two. We probably should pop the back row there. I would I would assume. Popping the field spell here is interesting. I mean I guess we just don't care what um, kind of interaction that they have here. If we search for Albion, we'll be we will be able to uh, to search for Brand Infusion here, which we are going to be activating. We're going to be activating the Albion, dumping the Brand Infusion, and then we get to draw a card. Um, and then here we can banish the retribution to add the uh, the um, the brand infusion here, activating it, dumping Cartesia as well as Albaz, um, or not dumping the gimmick puppet here in Albaz, and that will allow us to summon out Lubellion. And then Lubellion effect can activate here, discarding. A copy of Tragedy here for cost, so it will not activate. And then we can shuffle back the Quem as well as the Albus. Go for the Albion, the Sanctum Fire Dragon here. So now we have essentially the Branded Lock um, done. We're going to be able to Gimmick Puppet during our opponent's turn here, um, which is very nice. And we haven't activated Tragedy effect, so we can actually add back the Branded in Red with the Tragedy, um, which is also nice as well. But unfortunately, we can't go for game here because, you know, we have Chimera. It cannot attack directly. Um, but we will be able to attack for 6,000 life points here. And then we're going to be passing on this, I believe. Chimera cannot attack directly. 
Imagine if the Brandon and Riker target could attack directly. That'd be absolutely just busted here. Um, and after the tragedy, we can be able to reset the Brandon and Red here. And I believe we're going to be passing on this. We can draw for turn here. During the standby phase, we can activate the effect of uh, Albion the Sanctifier here. And be able to target the Albaz as well as the... Uh, as well as um, the copy of the gimmick puppet here. But we haven't activated Mirror Jade either, so like we're, we're big chilling here. We have lots of effects that we have. We didn't use any of the graveyard effects there. We're going to be hitting it with the bell. And then we'll be able to give our opponent the gimmick puppet. And he's going to scoop it there, realizing it's going to be game, unfortunately. As well as like the game we have on board, just absolutely insane. Um, I know Lubelion. If we summon another Lubelion there, which we would have probably done, we can shuffle back um, the copy of Chimera as well as the other Lubelion, um, going for a copy of Predator Plant Draco's Um In that build at the time, I don't think we were playing Draco's because we were playing the um, some of the targets for. Um, duality there could be a chance that we were doing it though i'm not too sure i don't really remember but being able to give him puppet game one is always nice um, especially going into game two now you know it's a free side out i don't think we we're you know we were probably playing dark magician at the time um cannot see why we wouldn't be playing dark magician You know, Dragoon is a pretty nice card, and being able to burn for time is very nice as well. I'm not too sure what to side in versus the uh, Plunder Patrol deck. It's always one of the decks I struggle with a little bit. Um, like, I don't really know very much about the deck. I have tried playing it, like Alex tried teaching me it. I was like, okay, the best way to play the deck, or best way to learn how to beat the deck is to play the deck and see what you lose against and uh, what you could do better. Um, but I found myself a lot of the time just playing the Adventure Engine. Like, I just wouldn't see any access to the Plunder Patrol stuff, which I'm sure that people who play the Adventure stuff really know. Um, but, yeah, I still still kind of struggle with that. If you guys know what is a really big choke point other than, like, Bluebeard, Ash, um, interaction, let me know down in the comment section below. I assume Shifter is very good against the deck. Or are we seeing the one of the Beards being summoned here? Linking away into the All Mirage. And do we, have, we do have the Extender here. We're going to be hitting it with a bell. It's a very nice card as well, I know. And then they're going to be setting a card and passing here. So stopping them getting to their uh, to their blue beard is working, apparently. We're going to activate Branded Opening here, discarding the Branded Retribution. So I'm not always opening up the best, but still. And Retribution is a crazy card as well. Like people underrate that card a lot of the time. I know against Sean, um, he's playing Rensas. At one point, I had Branded and Red in hand, and I sent Albion to the graveyard. So I actually set the Branded Retribution off of the Albion, and it, it worked out really well because I just sent, like, Rinbrum, or I think I sent Albion that turn as well as a copy of Brigands. Um, and then, so I was able to shuffle both of them back to negate a special summon effect, which is super nice. But we're going to be seeing an Ash Blossom on Branded Fusion, we're going to be passing on that, and then they're going to be going into the copy of now they're going to be activating Cosmic Cyclone, attempting to hit our Imperm. And then we're going to be chaining the Imperm just to negate the Almirage so we can just negate that column. But he's going to chain the Trap Guard here, summon out from the graveyard there to dodge the Imperm essentially. And making him forced to make a play is kind of nice here. Then we're going to activate the Branded Opening, discarding the... Uh... Is that a Druus Worm to their grave? It is a Druus Worm, okay. Summoning Quem here, and Quem will be able to dump an Albaz, or a Cartesia. That could also work. They get us different things here, like Mirror, yeah, so dumping a Cartesia, this will get us to a Granganol Fusion when uh, anything leaves the extra deck here. So we're going to be seeing them, or actually, did they... They're going to be linking away into the Bluebeard. Then here we're going to be able to summon out the copy of uh, Cartesia. And then we're going to be chaining to summon out the Lisp here. So they, they, will, they will be able to negate the Cartesia if we choose to activate it, as well as draw a card. 
which is very nice here. Then we're going to attempt to activate the Cartesia. They're going to negate with the black or with the Lisk, dumping the uh, the Crowth, and then we activate it already. Then we're going to be banishing the Retribution so they cannot negate the following turn. Um, you know, always important to do. You know, Lisk is a once per turn negate, so if we can just add it back right now and not have to worry about it, it's going to be very nice. Watch us draw Brand of Fusion next turn, though. <laughs> Holy. We're going to see them activate the black guy. is going to be able to summon out they set another copy. And I think this is where the game really is out of control for us. And they can normal summon out the white beard here. And then they can link summon once again. Or synchro summon here into the copy. Um, I always forget about that. And we're just going to scoop it up. Those they have way too much. Um, we're going to be we're just going to be sitting in the water there. You know, one brand infusion won't do it at all. But, you know, now we can go first and we can try to gimmick puppet lock once again, um, which is a pretty much an auto win against the deck. I don't really know what uh what other like things like I keep I keep forgetting that the deck can do so much, but gimmick puppet locking is just so consistent as well as um, it's just able to like in instantly ensure you the game. That's just like, it doesn't really feel like a gimmick. It just feels like a lock at that point. It's like, if you're able to get the gimmick puppet lock, you're able to win the game immediately. And uh, that's kind of what Yu-Gi-Oh is about these days. Like, we don't really see them chipping down life points. It's really a show me your combo and scoop kind of a, kind of game these days, it seems. Which is why people really hate, like, when a deck's like Labyrinth and stuff like that, just are able to overcome. Um, even Labyrinth is able to just, like, virus you and then if you just hit like four spell cards it's just instantly game you know that's kind of rough and people don't like that because like it's just so easily accessible which is why they had to ban expulsion because that card was absolutely busted and allows you to play through uh through more like hand traps like now bell hurts um if you don't have lost up on the field um bestials hurt extremely well in the uh, in the matchup there so like you know bestying bestialing um the nightmare at any point in the combo is just good unless they summon it like granganol but at that point they're doing it they're in the main phase and if they go granganol i'll be on like chain links on the summons there then just like well at that point it's rough but diving into game three here we're gonna be seeing brandon being going first they're gonna activate an albion once again i think this card's been seen all games um, it's a crazy card being able to dump for cost and then just drawing a card essentially making your deck like a double upstart because you see the card you put back a card you just i guess it's just a regular upstart um, but just able to be reused they're going to be seeing a fusion uh deployment here summoning out the cartesia there and do we have an alba uh an aluber here to continue the play we don't but we do have a brand of fusion no ash blossom here so we'll be dumping the Albaz as well as the Tragedy. That's going to summon out the Lubellion. Lubellion will be able to activate its effects as well as the Tragedy there. Which will search us for the uh, Aluber or the um, copy of Quem. And then we're going to be seeing an Albaz being pitched off Lubellion there. And we're thinking if we're going to be chaining the copy of Cartesia here to... Uh, we are going to be chaining the Cartesia to summon out the Grand Ganal and being able to shuffle back from the graveyard, which always feels nice. There might have been a world where we didn't do that, and instead we actually just added the Luber, and then we normal summoned, and then we uh, activate the effects for Lost. But we're going to see us shuffle back the Albaz as well as the Lubellion here. We have two Albazes in Grave. To make ourselves the mirror jade here. Or not. No, you definitely do. Unless we're trying to shuffle back out the copy of. There's no way we do just sanctifier now, right? What else is in our hand? Like, I mean. No, you definitely go for the sanctifier. You definitely go for the. The mirror jade here. I feel like mirror jade is definitely the safest play. Um, 
we are just chatting about the options as well. Um, it's either between the Albion, the Sanctifier, or we are going for the Sanctifier. Okay, interesting choice here. I guess this way will, like, I don't even know why. This doesn't actually do anything. Like, then, yeah, then we can activate the we can normal summon Cartesia. Cartesia will dump, or Quam will dump Cartesia here. Um, but other than that, it's just, like, This doesn't do us anything. Like we just instantly lose to like, everything else. Um, we don't even have branded red here. We're gonna activate the Sanctum Fire Dragon, trying to summon out the Albaz as well as the Nightmare, and then we're just walking into a copy of Evenly here. We're gonna be activating the Albaz effect, discarding the Sorinir. Um, to summon out Lubelion here, and then we're going to be activating the effect of Lubelion as well as Soranir. Pitching another Albaz. Holy, we have a lot of Albazes in hand. And then we're going to be activating the Quem to summon out the Cartesia. Dumping the opening off the Soranir, and then we're going to be able to fuse, putting the, yeah, putting the Albaz as well as the second Lubelion into the extra deck. To summon out a copy of Mirror Jade here. Um, so we are locking our opponent, but if they have evenly matched, we're done. I guess it's not fully done because you can just Cartesia into a copy of, um, Dragos Topelia, but. We're going to see them normal summon out a temple here. Trying to get it to the graveyard. And they're going to enter a battle phase. It's going to be attacking into the Quem. We're going to be chaining the Mirror Jade, banishing it so they won't be able to activate the effect, and protecting our Quem here. And they're going to activate the Plunder Patrol Field Spell and then discarding a second temple here to be able to search for a Plunder Patrol card. But it's not going to be able to get them anywhere because we'll have game next turn. I'm searching for the white beard, and they already normal summon, so they can't even protect their life points here. They're going to be banishing to search for Rite of Aramisir. But this itself is just game on board. This is almost double game. And then they realize they can't even do it, so they, they pass, and they realize it's just over. They forgot about the effect. I mean, we're seeing their cards in their hand, and it's just too late. Um, we see Brandon taking the win here. Gimmick Puppet locking once again, you know, being just the powerful card that it is. I really hope Konami is able to ban Gimmick Puppet. Um, please do. It will make Brandon a lot more fun and interactive. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Let me know in the future, and uh, see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.